This specific TikTok that I did was on the, the subject of grief and bereavement. I want to start talking about it more because it's something that I've experienced a lot of and I feel like by talking about it, it could help other people. folks jamie here again thank you very much for clicking on the video i really appreciate it whilst you're here if you could subscribe that would also be amazing first of all let me quickly explain the premise of this video and the reason for the title the title of this video as you will have seen is i went viral on tiktok now what i'm talking about in terms of saying i went viral is i'm talking about 50,000 views and i've had other tiktoks that have got around about 80,000 views as well but this specific TikTok that I did was on the, the subject of grief and bereavement. I want to start talking about it more because it's something that I've experienced a lot of and I feel like by talking about it, it could help other people. However, before we do any of that, I need to go and get some petrol for my car. Oh, that's a nice candle. Can we just quickly talk about how as soon as I hit the steering wheel, the garage lights turned off? Did you see that? I'm going to play it again right now. However, before we do any of that, I need to go and get some petrol for my You would think that I meant that. I didn't mean that. The lights have just went off in the garage, so now's probably a good time to go and get that petrol. Ooh, 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 ooh. Close, 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 close. I'm just about to leave the garage on the way to get petrol. It's a pretty, like, dreary, miserable day. How crazy is it that it's the fear of the judgement from other people that stop us doing things that we enjoy? I have no idea where I'm going here. I'm just going to go with the floor. Yeah. It's like we fear what other people think so much that it stops us from doing the things that we actually want to do in life. And I don't know about anyone else, but I just get sick. Like, I get absolutely sick of feeling that way. Who the hell wants to feel that way? Ever. It's miserable, isn't it? McDonald's is open. McDonald's is open. It's so busy. That's not even worth. That's not even worth waiting in. It's so busy. Not a chance of my waiting in that. Not a scooby dooby do. The TikTok so far has fifty three point nine thousand views. Um, it has eight thousand nine hundred thirty loves, which is amazing, uh, and four hundred sixty seven comments. So. Here is the video now if you have not seen it. Hey, can I just grab a quick few seconds of your time before you head off to bed tonight? This one is for those of us who are still young but who have suffered through grief and bereavement. I lost my dad when I was 11 years old and I lost my brother in 2018 when I was 20. Look, I know how tough it is. Coronavirus has given us all way too much time to think and be in our own heads. I just want to reassure you that there will come a moment in your life where the memory of your loved one will bring a smile to your lips before it brings a tear to your eye. I promise you that that will happen. But in the meantime, hold on tight. Times are tough, but you're stronger than you know. A brighter day is on its way. And for everybody else, please remember this. Don't regret growing older. It's a privilege denied to many. I'm 22 now, but even when I was 11, which is how old I was when I lost my dad, it didn't really feel like there was many other people around about you who had been through the same. So it wasn't really like you could had anyone to relate to. For some people that'll be different and that must be brilliant, but for a lot of people it's not. So videos like this, hopefully it might, young people might see it, or even just anyone would see it and think, it's good to know other people have been through what I've been through, because it can be quite an isolating feeling grief. I mean, you never deal with the loss of someone in terms of, you never get used to it, you just don't. But you get to a stage where it's a little bit easier to live day to day than it was right at the start. You're in a daze, everything's confusing, you're still questioning things, you've not had time to process any information, there's so much things to organise, things to work out. 
There's so much going on in your head, no matter what age you are, and it is obviously difficult at any age. But I think when you're younger, it's too traumatic of an experience for people not to talk about it. And that's exactly why I made this TikTok. I'm now going to read a few of the comments out from the comment section of the video because one thing that struck me after I posted the video was how many people have such similar experiences. So I thought if I go through some of the comments, read them out, and make sure other people who are watching this video on YouTube that there are so many other people that are going through the exact same emotions that you're going through right now. Really needed to hear this. Thank you for this. Really touched home. Thank you for the lovely words. Something to remember for sure. Thank you for this. I lost my dad to MND last year on the 1st of December. This is another comment that did stick with me. I've saved this video if you don't mind. My kids lost their dad when they were 11 and 5 and their brother when they were 19 and 12. I'd like to show them this. I've replied saying absolutely, I'm so sorry to hear that. The world can often seem awful, my heart goes out to y'all. The reason it stuck with me is just because it's like, even though my experience of bereavement happened at a certain time, it's important to keep in mind that it's happening every single day. The experience of death and the loss of loved ones, people are going through that every single day. The world keeps on spinning, but the tragedy is always still there. Just lost my father and it's hard. As you say, COVID has given us a lot of time to think. Thank you so much. I lost three grandparents in nine months. Then my mum fell uh, poorly straight after that and she's never been the same since. Somebody else commented saying, this is something I needed to hear right now. A week tomorrow will be my seventh year that I've lost my mum. I hate this time of year. Lost my brother when I was 17 when he was only 20. Then my dad at 21 and he was only 41. I hope I smile one day instead of crying. Uh, this person said, as an orphan who recently lost my best friend, I can also say that smile is now on my face. Life is a gift. I mean, it is a gift. And we need to start treating it like that. I lost my dad two months ago. I feel that part of me has died with him. I don't feel strong. I feel lonely and ignored in my grief. That's one thing. Loneliness is half the battle with grief because obviously you're, you're grieving the loss of that person that you can never get back. I really love this one. Oh, this has brought a tear to my eye, but so many people needed to hear this. Brighter days ahead for everyone. I feel like that's probably a good place to leave it. There are a lot of other comments I could have read out. It would be great if people could go onto the TikTok, give the video a little bit of support because the more support the video gets on TikTok, the more people will see it. And then therefore, hopefully the more people might be positively impacted by it. But if you've enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel, like the video, that would be amazing, it really helps. And also if you think there's anyone who might benefit from watching this video or benefit from the TikTok which is in the description, please send it on to them because the more people that it helps, the better. Because everyone needs to know that there's other people out there who've experienced the same thing as them and are going through the same emotions and are battling with the same demons. Go follow me on Instagram, it's Jamie and Murray. My DMs are always open for people who want to reach out. I love interacting. And also can I just say a massive thank you to everyone who's watched all the YouTube videos so far. It just means the world, so thank you very much. And to all the people that commented and watched the TikTok, thank you very much. And I always remember, don't regret growing older. It's a privilege denied to many. I'll see you soon.